Many people can say that they have been injured during a game or practice, but most people can't say they've been out of sports for almost two years. It was a soccer game April 27, 2014, and I stepped forward and my left leg went behind my right one and it kind of twisted back. Being out of sports for too long can affect many things, but her injury isn't in the way of being active. It's hard, but I mean, I go to the gym and I run sometimes, so it's like still get to be, I guess, in shape. And ACL and MCL are very important to the human body. They play a key role in your life. An MCL is a meniscus on the left and right side of one knee. And then an ACL keeps the shin bone and thigh bone together from, so when you run, it stops you. Complications can make injuries much worse than they actually are. The road to recovery can take longer than expected. Yeah, I had MCL surgery January 20th, 2015. And then I have another one March 11th this year. Injuries like Courtney's take lots of time and repairs to heal correctly, but if you're not done growing, those injuries can take years, just like hers. When I first tore it, they thought it was just a bruise, and so I played on it for eight months, and every month I would have like a reoccurrence of something, and like it would hurt really bad, and I'd be out for a week, and then I'd go back, and they finally told me to go check it out on December 7th, which I played my last game in Kansas City. For BBTV News, this has been Emma reporting. So all of these gentlemen that you're seeing pounding around and drilling, they're all here to help us make our internet a little bit faster. So they're going to be here all the way through July working in our building and their job is to remove all of these blue cords that are in this closet. These blue cords run through all of the ceilings and the floors and they give us our internet. So they're replacing all of these blue wires with fiber optic lines that will hopefully make our internet a little bit faster next year. So today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy bird silhouette painting with a coat on it. So the first thing you do is just get whatever paint you want. I like to use acrylic paint and I kind of like to use bright colors for my background. You can do whatever background you want. Here I did a bunch of lines but really you can make any abstract background. Is I actually just like to squirt a bunch of paint on the canvas. Okay. And then what you're going to do is just get a couple brushes. Then make sure when you're done that you paint along all the edges. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna let this uh, dry completely. While waiting for the paint to dry, you can choose a quote for your art piece. And then also once it's 100% dry, I took a pencil and I drew out my bird stencil. I usually use paint because it's more economical. Um, but for today, I'm just going to use a big black Sharpie. You're just going to take your Sharpie and basically just color it in. It's pretty easy. So you can get it outlined and then you just color it in. And you can see I have one done. And then I'll just do the same thing to the other one. So then all I have left to do is the quote. For BBTV, this has been Sydney reporting. A spouse is somebody's husband or wife. One of the most popular game shows in the history of TV is the newlywed game. This is where the host quizzes two spouses to see how well they know each other. We played the similar version with famous Buffett couple, Mr. and Mrs. Stabert. August 2005. Here at, here at Buffett. When? That was a long time ago. Here at Buffett, like a bajillion years ago. Okay. 
she is? Me. <laughs> Chicken. Fingers. Strawberries. Steak. Probably steak. Well, of course I am. <laughs> Me. Just ask our kids. Blue. 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 Probably cheeseburger in paradise, but we hung out before that. When would have been, say, 2005, like fall, probably August. student Buffett takes math, but some students are above grade level. Kaylee Brills talks about being in Algebra 3-4. I go up to the library for class and I sit in a conference room and I video chat with a high school class. Uh, so we can move our camera around and we can move the camera on their side around so that we can see everything and we can hear everything. It's almost like being an actual part of the class. Most students are used to going to class with students their own age. But what happens when you're younger than your classmates? It's a lot of fun because sometimes some of the people just don't know any of the drama that happens in our grades. And it's just a lot of different people. Because Kaylee takes a class that involves a camera, we asked Ms. Thompson, gate facilitator and magnet facilitator, if there were any problems at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, if everything is set up through people that know a lot more about this machine down at TAC, and they set it up so it automatically comes on every day at a certain time. So um, besides just at the beginning of the school year, getting um, the scheduling worked out with the, what time it needed to turn on and uh, making sure the microphones were working, ever since we got those glitches um, figured out, it has been working perfectly all year. Signing up for BBTV, this has been Avery reporting. filmed all the way back in 1989, so they had to make a few predictions of how 2015 would look. Some of the things that they predicted were right on, but others haven't quite happened yet. Check out what they got right and what they got wrong.
Taco is a new restaurant near Buffett that has recently opened to the public. From the day our taco opened, it had an immediate success, but what made it so successful? I think it's successful because it's uh, unique in its flavor and it's cheaper in prices than most places. The menu is filled with very diverse dishes. We wondered what their most popular tacos are. Hey, well, it's a Rusty Taco is named after the owner, Rusty Denton. So that's a you know it's a famous taco that he made himself, and probably here the Texican because a lot of people just like a normal taco, which is just beef, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. So Bobcats may wonder why you should come to our taco over other restaurants. It's a good place to hang out, enjoy, good atmosphere. You guys can you know bring a party in, hang out at the tables, and eat good food, you know. With so many Mexican restaurants across the metro, people seem to be picking our taco. It's a lot faster, our customer service is better, and like I said, it's cheaper than most places. Signing off for BBTV, this has been Emma reporting. Many Bobcats know that this year's 8th grade students had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. on a school trip thanks to two 8B teachers. Um, we planned the trip through a company called School Tours of America and then Mr. Doherty and I got together a couple times and really worked out what kinds of activities we wanted the kids to see and what things that we wanted them to do. But with 43 kids over 1,000 miles away from home, it seems like it must have been tough to keep everyone accounted for. Um, it's, it's great. If you have too many people and you have too many people in charge, then then nobody really knows who's in charge. So it was actually perfect because Mr. Doherty and I could bounce ideas off of each other and we were kind of the main people in charge, but we were able to rely on other adults. It was a great experience for students, but they weren't the only ones enjoying the view. What I enjoyed the most, um, like I, I think the night we went to the Vietnam Wall, I think was fascinating how the kids just kind of, they, they got it all of a sudden and it was fun watching them just kind of look and because so much of what we did was stuff none of them had ever done before. All the participants saw many historical buildings, memorials, and museums throughout the trip. We did all kinds of things. We saw the Washington Monument, we saw the Lincoln Memorial, uh, Jefferson Memorial, we saw where all of the beautiful trees were going to be blooming, all of the cherry blossom trees. Um, we saw Ford's Theater, we went to uh, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, the Korean War Veterans Memorial, which is my favorite, um, the World War II Memorial, the Vietnam Memorial, MLK, FDR, all of the things. It was a lot of memorials and awesomeness. Uh, also the um, Holocaust Museum. With so many sites to see, there was many more that weren't included that may be in future trips. We didn't get enough time to do the, um, like some of the Smithsonian's. I'd like to do more time there. And I, I think we need to flip one of the afternoons for one of the mornings. For BBTV News, this has been Emma Story. reporting. Cultures from all around the world all have their own unique and special traditions. In the Nepali culture, weddings are celebrated very traditionally, and there are very many fascinating traditions. The groom side comes to the bride side, and with the with the whole band of music, and they take the bride to his house. We have to uh, steal the groom's shoes and then we have to hide it. And unless the groom gives the money to us for the shoes, we don't give it back. 15,000 rupees. The groom side brings, you know, like a lot of stuff for the bride. They, they bring at least 50 trays of stuff, like that includes food, jewelry, clothes, makeup hair products and all the pampering stuff. Nepali weddings are very different compared to your average wedding. Uh, Nepali weddings are usually very, very elaborated. It goes on for weeks. In a Nepali wedding, first we have uh, the henna party, and then the bride goes to the groom's house, and then it's a very sad moment when the bride is about to leave because the girl who's getting married, she's going to leave her family, and. She has to adjust with the other family, so... Robotics is a school club where students build bots to compete in various tournaments from November to the end of March. Robotics team member Adu describes the day at the competition. We get here at 8, check all our supplies, make sure our robot's working, and then there's inspection and judging. Inspection is to make sure that your robot is in the size limit of 18 inches by 18 inches by 18 inches. 
and to make sure that all your wires are legal and your battery is legal. And then um, after that, you have qualifying matches, which will place you hopefully in the top 10, which qualify you for finals. In finals, you get to pick two other teams as your alliance to try and score points. Robotics is a STEM program which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We talked to Jim Russell, the curriculum supervisor of OPS, to get his opinion on why schools should have a robotics program. Well, it's, it's kind of like what I was saying. If the schools, you know, um, they want to support the STEM programs, this is, this is a great avenue for them to be able to do that. Um, you know, for Omaha Public Schools, we, are, we have a grant that supports that, so it's, there's not a lot of cost to the schools itself right now. So it's really a, a, a winning situation for the schools. For BBTV News, this is Liz reporting.